Welcome back to Maestro Vapes. I may be a little bit late to the party on this one, but at least I came and I brought party favors. Hopefully the party favors are good enough that you will excuse my punctuality. Um, so today we're looking at the Inakin I Taste VTR. Is this the Inakin or is it the Inokin? I think I like to say Inokin but it takes a lot out of me to do it, so I'm gonna to refer to it as the Inakin Eye Taste VTR. First thing you're going to say when you get this uh, advanced personal vaporizer is, man, it is heavy. The second thing you are going to say is, man, why is it so heavy? Um, it is a solid piece of steel in here. I believe it's steel. I think there's some zinc in there, but it is beefy. Like you could drop this and feel pretty good about it uh, not breaking. It has a simple menu system, which isn't even really a menu system. It just uh, allows you to go in between variable voltage or variable wattage. So you have the ability to do one or the other on this guy. Um, which is really nice. There is nothing else in here. There's no stealth vaping or anything changing any of the settings around. Um, we could take a closer look at it and check it out. Okay, so what do I get? What do I get? Okay, this is what you get. When you buy this guy, it comes in a cardboard box that says, I taste VTR. Taste it. Love it. Bye. Inakin. Um, inside that box, you're going to find another box that is uh, wrapped up in bubble wrap. And inside that bubble wrap is this box, or shall I say case. This is a really nice hard case that it comes with. It's uh, nice and strong. It says, I taste on it. Open her up, and what's inside? Oh, feel like Pulp Fiction, like a ray of light's going to blast out of here. Okay. So inside, it has this little piece of paper that shows you how to fill the clearomizer that it comes with. It also has a pretty nice manual, well-written manual in here in a bunch of different languages. If you want to read it in Czech or Danish or German for that matter, or Spanish, I mean Espanol. Um, and we have the device itself. So we got the iTaste VTR with the iClear 30B tank and an extension ring. Um, let me show you this uh, extension. So some of the tanks that you might use, like let's say this RSST, will not fit in this ring up top here. So you'll have to use this extension to put that guy on there. Um, it's pretty nice. I've used this a lot. Like you can see a little wear line around it. Um, I use a lot of drippers, agates, RSSTs, stuff like that. So they all seem to be bigger. Um, but you can fit a ton of different clearomizers in here. You can fit, you know, pro tanks, full size Vivi Novas, um, the eye clears, obviously. Um, I don't think I've used anything else. If you are using ego threading, there is no ego threaded connection down here. So you will have to use the uh, extension in order to put any ego threaded devices on there. Now, I'll show you a little bit up and close in personal. And this guy is a fingerprint magnet. I've been trying to wipe it and keep it clean. But as soon as you start touching it, like my hands are clean, I just wash them. And as soon as you touch it, there's fingerprints on it. It's, uh, it's brutal for that. Um, the bottom of it, you pull this little tab, battery comes out. This guy does not come with a battery, so you will have to supply your own. This battery I have came with my Joytech Evic. So I've just been using this for now and kind of keeping it with this guy. Um, I use uh, some EFAST batteries too, which are really good, but I kind of keep those for my mechs. Um, so we got the battery in there, really nice. Got some ventilation holes in there. Um, it's got a ton of these little screws everywhere on this guy. Um, like here, 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 here. 
got some more ventilation there. Um, it looks neat. It looks really neat. Um, to turn this guy on, you're going to have to push the fire slash on off button three times to get it going. So one, two, three, and we'll get a light show here. One, two, three. Red, yellow, green. Good. On. Turn it off. One, two, three. And it's off. One more time. I just want to see the light show. One, two, three. Red, yellow, green. On. Now, my battery is fully charged. So when I fire it, it's going to fire with a green LED. Um, if your battery is starting to dwindle off a little bit, lose its charge, it's uh, when you fire it, it will show up yellow. And then when you really need to charge it, it's going to fire with a red LED. So it does give you some warning. You cannot go into the uh, menu system and see what's in there, however. Okay. Now, we've gone over this button pretty easy. There's another button, which is your function button. Your function button shows your atomizer resistance and then whatever power setting you have it at. Um, the scroll wheel here adjusts your power or voltage setting. So back in, two ohms, 11 and a half. We can take it all the way up to 15 watts or down to, I think it's three. There's P for power. Click it again and it'll show you a voltage adjustment. So you can go from three volts all the way up to six, I believe. Yeah. So I like to leave this around 3.7. If I ever do go back to it, it's a good starting point for me. But for the most part, I leave it on the power setting. So it's one or the other, right? Power or voltage, not both. <laughs> I know some people have tried to dial in, you know, one to 4.2 and the other one to 12 and then wonder what they're doing wrong. Well, it's either one or the other, just one or the other. I usually set it at around nine and a half watts when I'm using this tank and it works well. The reason why I use the wattage setting is that if I put on a different tank, this one's read 2 ohms, let's say I put one on that's 2.6 ohms. By doing so, that would change the, uh, the vapor that is produced and I would have to raise my voltage. But in the, in the power setting or wattage setting, it does that for me. So it's going to try and give me that 9.5 watts all the time. And it's just going to do the math for me. So it will automatically adjust the voltage when I make a change like that, which is nice. And I find that, you know, I go between, usually between 1.2 ohm uh, coils to maybe, you know, 2.4. So there's a big leap in there. So if you're using the uh, wattage, it does help you out a lot. Um, you don't have to constantly change that around. Makes life a lot simpler. Um, so when you have your uh, your Clearo on here, my two ohm Clearo, which is supposed to be 1.8, you can twist that out of here, pull it out. It has this little ring on here that everything fits in between. This one is just made for it. You can use this with a Pro Tank. I don't have one beside me now. Perhaps I do. Actually, I got a Vivi Nova. This Vivi Nova is the V-Fate, and it fits in here pretty nice too. So you can use this with, uh, you know, a bunch of different tanks, a bunch. Um, but like I said, you can't use it with your EVODs or Ego type devices unless you use this guy, your extension. So it's got your 510 pin on the bottom. Put that in there. twist that in and it has your 510 pin in the middle and it has your ego threading on the outside of that as well now this is going to help you if you're using these huge tanks bigger tanks maybe you're using a dripper that you just can't it's too stubby you can't put it in here and vape it but that's what it looks like with that extension and something huge like this it kind of starts to look like a box mod is having a baby with a tube mod like the two have just become one it's kind of goofy looking but the vtr does perform really really well 
kind of makes up for that. It kind of makes up for that. Like you can put a dripper on here. I got my little dripper. What's that guy on there? And it's not so bad with the dripper. Kind of just looks like a little walkie-talkie with an antenna on there. Um, and the good thing, I don't know if it's a good thing, it's a great thing, but you can sub-ohm on this unit itself. So if you typically, um, a lot of devices have a certain uh, resistance that you can't go below. 1.2 is usually what it is. Um, on this one, I fired a 1.0. 1.0.9 stuff like that. So that's it. Let's go back out and check me out. Hey Rocky, how you doing? You just jumping in here or what? This is a uh, Rocky cat who we call Rudy coming to hang out. Um, you don't want to vape. No, you don't. Uh, so in closing, I taste VTR. But a whole out of my face. I taste VTR. Is a good vape. It's a very good vape. Um, it is a bit on the heavy side, so I don't know if that's something you're into. Um, but yeah, I I haven't minded carrying this around. Um, it is a good good mod. Um, I went from the Vamo to this. The Vamo was a really good mod as well. So Vamo is probably about half price. So consider that as an option unless your really heart uh, your your heart is set on a box style mod so have a good day and like i always say butt out vape up and breathe easy you don't want to vape rudy